Okay, so in this video, we are going to be going over the answers to the unit three review part two. So in question one, it says photosynthesis and cellular respiration, what types of molecules? I remember the word or, or the term organic molecules. Look up the meaning of organic molecules if you need help and that will guide you to the correct answer. So organic molecules are ones that contain carbon, um, this is CO and H, so carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. Therefore, our organic molecules are going to be glucose and carbon dioxide. Um, the difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs, autotrophs obtain energy from either sun or chemicals, convert that to glucose. So the ones who obtain their energy from the sun are going to be photoautotrophs. The ones who obtain their energy from chemicals are chemoautotrophs. And heterotrophs obtain their energy from eating other organisms. Number three, the absorption spectrum graph. To the right answers the question, uh, use it to answer the question. So at what wavelength is the light bus absorbed? So if we draw a line at our peak, that's around 450. Um, what color would that be? So that's, you're gonna have to look um, on Google Classroom for like the colored version of this graph. So this right here is the red color, or sorry, no, um, red is over here. This is like blue and purple. So the color, the object would be is red because it absorbs our blues and purples, um, but it will reflect the reds down here. What is the difference between oxidation and reduction? I'll provide a specific example of where you'd find oxidation occurring and an example where you'd find reduction happening. So oxidation, remember oxidation is a loss of electrons. So either oil, which is oxidation is loss, or Leo, loss electrons is oxidation. Um, and oxidation happens in the electron transport chain of cellular respiration. So NADH and FADH2 are going to drop off um, their electrons that they got from the Krebs cycle. They're gonna drop those off at the electron transport chain. Um, reduction is going to be a gain of electrons. So we have a rig, which is reduction is gain or GER. From Leo the line says GER um, is gain electrons reduction. Um, reduction is going to happen in our Krebs cycle. So um, their NAD plus and FAD are going to pick up slash carry the electrons. So they're gonna pick up the electrons from the Krebs cycle and then carry those over to the electron transport chain. Um, question five has uh, three different parts. So what is phosphorylation? First, phosphorylation is the addition of a phosphate generally an addition of a phosphate to any molecule, right? In this specific chapter, it's going to be an addition of a phosphate to a group uh, or a phosphate group to an ADP that makes ATP, right? So um, there are three different types of phosphorylation. We have photophosphorylation, substrate level phosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation. And those all happen in different places in the cells. So in photosynthesis, we have photophosphorylation. Photophosphorylation is a photon of light is when a photon of light is required to eventually indirectly power the phosphorylation of ADP by ATP synthase. Remember, in the um, so this happens in the light dependent reactions. Um, a photon comes in and energizes some electrons off of chlorophyll, and that electron then powers a hydrogen or a pump that pumps hydrogens into the lumen, and eventually those hydrogens are going to go through ATP synthase to make ATP. Um, in cell respiration, we have substrate level phosphorylation, which happens in glycolysis and in the Krebs cycle. So that is where an enzyme um, takes a phosphate off of the substrate, and then it'll add that uh, phosphate group to an ADP in order to make ATP. And then in the electron transport chain, we have oxidative phosphorylation. So NADH and FADH2 are oxidized, which means they lose their electrons. And that provides energy for the phosphorylation of ADP. Um, why and when does fermentation happen? And what is the entire process of fermentation? Um, sorry, the entire purpose. So fermentation occurs when we don't have any oxygen. So this is going to be our anaerobic respiration, right? So our anaerobic respiration is glycolysis to fermentation. Our aerobic respiration is glycolysis to Krebs cycle to electron transport chain. Um, the purpose of fermentation is to recycle NADH back into NAD+. So NAD+, can then be used in the process of glycolysis. 
So glycolysis needs NAD plus in to be in order to um, continue happening. Um, and we need to continue or keep glycolysis happening in order to have enough ATP, right? So that is when and why fermentation happens. Um, next, to fill in this table. So we'll go down the cell respiration side first. So the overall purpose is to make ATP. Molecules needed to happen is oxygen or O2 and glucose. Molecules created are CO2, water, and ATP. And our terminal or final electron acceptor is oxygen. In photosynthesis, the overall purpose is to make glucose. All molecules needed is CO2, water, and a light energy. Molecules created is O2 and G3P, which then can be made into glucose. And our terminal or our final electron acceptor is NADP. Um, number eight, draw a diagram to show how cellular respiration and photosynthesis are related. So I have a nice picture of a flower and a frog here. Um, so our frog is going to be representing cellular respiration. Our photo is going to be, or our flower is going to be representing um, photosynthesis. So as you can see, photosynthesis, the products of photosynthesis are the reactants that cellular respiration needs. So photosynthesis gives us oxygen and glucose and cellular respiration gives us water and carbon dioxide, right? So the products of one process are needed as the reactants of the other. You can also see that they are continually like cycling carbon, right? Glucose has uh, six carbons in there, right? C6, H12, O6. And carbon dioxide clearly has a carbon in there. So we have like a cycle of carbon going on between cell respiration and photosynthesis. And finally, what is the importance of G3P in photosynthesis? So this is the product of photosynthesis. It can be converted into glucose very quickly, but it can also be used to make amino acid, fatty acid, sucrose, uh, cellulose, a whole bunch of different things in the cell. So that's why it's so much uh, more beneficial for the cell to make G3P instead of glucose. Um, and just as a reminder for 10, uh, just make sure that you understand how all of these processes connect to each other. Make sure you're also paying attention to um, anaerobic respiration and how all of that fits in there too. I have concept or you have your concept mapping cards so you can work with those. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know.